Oh, uh, <laughs> we get a dartboard or something. I'm bored. <laughs> no good. Uh. Let's see what we have going on today. What is the date? 28th. November 28th. So this is our calendar. <laughs> Today's the 28th, so uh, that's what we have to do. It's supposed to be in black. But Christmas is coming up. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, should we do a cribs? We should do a cribs, huh? Hey, my name's Dara, and this is we're in Los Angeles, and this is our crib. Shut the door. This is the living room. I want to make it feel like home. Put up the flag. Uh, hmm. This, these are our rabbit ears. Gotta watch the news. We don't have these are spoons. Light bulb. Ah, uh, what else we got around here? Um, yeah, TVs don't work. This is a uh, perennius and tunius. It's uh, native to these parts. <laughs> Let's go check on Matt, huh? This is Matt's room. He, uh, he had a birthday yesterday. Hooray. Let's play a little something, huh? Play a little something for the camera. Hmm? That's it. Well, this is Matt's room. This is his heater. <laughs> yeah, now get the hell out of here. Uh, let's, oh, we forgot about this. This is uh, where he enjoys the view. Yeah, it's gorgeous, huh? Yeah, beautiful. All right. This is. His bathroom, his and Isaac's, and uh, they just clean the toilet bowl. Good stuff, huh? Let's see what's in the trash. Hmm. Looks like somebody else has alopecia. <laughs> Let's go to the kitchen. Hmm? This is the kitchen. Let's see. These are our forks. <laughs> These are our forks. So, uh, we don't use. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is our cooker. <laughs> this is Matt's birthday cake. Let's see what's in the fridge. Oh, a lot of styrofoam. There's water. So, no, Sunny D. But anyway, some red pepper. There's the trash can. It's got some beers in there. 
lot of trash. Somebody should take that out. This is our dining room area where we all sit around and talk about our day. Um, talk about how our day's going. Um, nobody's here. But uh, the Kona heads stay here sometimes, so we've got a mattress against the wall. Okay. Let's see what kind of view we got out here. Oh God, that's beautiful. Uh, the lady we're renting from loves carpets. So we've got just a fucking mess collage of carpets all over the floor. Uh, yeah. But uh, look at that, that's Cliff. He just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, gotta get that out of the way. And uh, he's gonna go to Starbucks probably. And another couple of those are gonna pop out. Let's go upstairs. Cliff? Mm -hmm. You having a good day? Mm -hmm. Mm. You are? What are you gonna do today? Go to Starbucks. You gonna go to Starbucks? Yeah. He's gonna get some coffee. This is Cliff's room. That's where Cliff sleeps. He sleeps a lot. Got a desk lamp, a light, and uh, he's been doing a lot of light reading. Just uh. Find out what's going on places. Yeah. Good stuff over there, I guess. Let's see what Brett's done. This is Brett's room. He's playing WoW or something. <laughs> He's got some... Uh, Been drinking already, I see. Potatoes. Don't judge me. <laughs> He's got some potatoes. <laughs> Uh, another spoon. We got a lot of spoons around. A lot of spoons. Mm -hmm. This is closet. He just got a new fan. So, uh, it's yellow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got one of these. Smell good. You have a bathroom. Again, the rugs. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yep. Come in here. This is mine and John and Brett's and Cliff's bathroom. I mean, we kind of share all of them. <laughs> and uh, that's the sink. None of those work. This is our bathroom. Got some. Uh, we got that aim. It's got some pee stains. Cause. A little split fire. What about John? Are you decent? Yeah, intern. This is John's room. John's got the luxury suite. A lot of stuff going in the, F the FTM camp. A lot of stuff. Busy day? <laughs> All right. This is his. Sinks, double sinks. Again, carpets, beautiful carpets here. Match, look good. It's a desk, it's his table. That's John's room. What are you watching, John? TV. John's watching TV. I just cleaned up. Yeah, I don't want to show you mine. <coughs> so fuck off. And that's it. You want me to tell you about the album artwork? Okay. It's got to be quick. I don't have much time.
it really all started to come together December 10th, 2010, when the five band members, the manager Frank Hill and myself, were standing outside of the studio where the band was recording their album. Uh, Dara already had an idea of what he'd like to call the album, and after a few you know, tossing around ideas, a few reiterations of what he had come to the rest of the group with, they had finally decided on Arrows and Anchors. I remember something about Arrows, I don't remember something about Anchors, I think. But that's, I'm sure there's a million things with Arrows and Anchors. What do you think, Isaac? Think it's good? I don't know, you think it's... <laughs> You've got to have a thing. <laughs> Isaac, what do you think? I just shot Isaac in the face. Isaac, what do you think? I think it's good. No, seriously. I think it's good. I think it'll be really good for the merch, everything. Come on, man, give us a concept. Two minutes. Come on. Two minutes? Expound on this. Yeah, well, usually nobody's talking. <laughs> it's just me. It's I think it's good. It rhymes. What else do you want? What else more do you want? Frank. It's good. Keep going. Yeah, oh, keep shaking, going. Like, I think. I think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, I returned home for the 2010 Thanksgiving holiday weekend, and when I returned to the studio, I had a very rough sketch of what would later become the final version of the arrows and anchor symbol. Then, after a process of working out all the little kinks of the symbol with all the other members of the band, Cliff and I were sitting down and changing these little, these little angles, these little corners, and we really we were working on it all the way up to the point where we felt like we had created something that was looking back at us. So, we, you know, we feel like we had done our job right. From there, I decided that whatever I was going to do for the actual album cover was going to have to be something that was going to help inspire, something that was going to help add to the mystery and the complexity of this album and of this band. Almost done! The worst thing I could have done was create something that would influence the listener's own created storyline that they make up while listening to the music. So. What I did was create something that I feel connected all of the loose storylines that we had been writing and creating over the past couple of years into this scene. So what we see is our main character venturing outside of this sort of natural world that he's been living in, and the cover is the monument left behind to show that the struggle was real. Oh, there was a lot of work. It was a whole lot of work. But, you know, it was worth it. I hope people like it. I think it's good. Makes no sense to shake and think. That's some good footage right there. Custard under E1 music. <laughs> hey.